Hello, everyone. Hey, there we go. Move my mic a little closer. Hello, everyone. My name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Where we last left off, we have made it to the uh, Terra Flora planet. Thank you for that, uh, Rabbit Mario. Um, but yeah, so we're here on Terra Flora. I was thrown off very badly by that. And we are here to aid the person who's apparently, I guess, a spirit within this tree. And we are right now in said Everbloom tree to speak with this person who also wanted us to wipe our feet. But what's the point of wiping our feet when there's dirt all over the inside? What am I gonna wipe my feet on? I'm gonna get. Some, I'm just gonna get more dirt. I don't know, but let's get into this, and we're gonna see if we can be able to beat this in this episode. I also almost forgot that these drop star bits. I almost forgot star bits. Uh, so let's take a look around here. Also, oh, hello, door. Wait, are those two orbs meaning like the numbers? So did I miss a portrait? Her portrait back here. I just want to make sure that I'm not missing any lore port. Doesn't look it, because that's the way out. Yeah, I guess this. Is... The warden here is Bia. It turns out she's the Bia, the beloved singer who left it all behind to become an organic farmer. She got her start playing Roxy on the Gachapon Gang, a show about a teen rock band who turned into giant Gachapons to fight crime. Huh. Don't know what a Gachapon is, but... I mean, kind of interesting that we're dealing with a singer. I wonder if we're gonna hear a uh, wonderful singing musical in this place. Get up there, there's more. Bia's first solo album was corporate-produced teen pop drivel. I mean, really, who listens to that rubbish? Your playlist has six different live versions of this album, including a remastered one that was released last week, Beepo. Hehe. <laughs> she exposed you. I'm afraid I'm seeing no signs of enemies, either. Oh. Rather... I heard walking. Something walking around. This way. Ah, adder. Okay. A lot of things that sealed. Okay, I didn't skip anything down here first. Crown. Another tube. Okay, yeah. No, so this is the next painting. Okay. The one with the mustache and the, the tutu. The manager and made an experimental album done entirely underwater. Critics dared to call it an artistic temper tantrum appealing only to pseudo-intellectual snobs. Honestly, I loved it. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you how I feel about it because I've yet to hear it. Hey, we got the blocky. We got the blocky! Now we're gonna put the block into that block socket. In the block socket. In the block socket. Do, 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 do. And there's the circle one. Gonna get that too. Oh, that's why I was hearing walking. There's a rabbit up there dancing to the rabbit in a. Oh, okay, I guess I'm not allowed to see the rabbit in the tutu in the little box. Okay, fine. I'll just go on my merry way. Okay, and put this in. Suck it. Boom. And there's more lore. So far, so good. There's no enemies in this place. There's, like, signs of darkness with all the stuff blockading us. Plus, that's an enemy up ahead. Oh yeah, that's an enemy. That's a, that's a helmeted Goomba. 
The year is a survivor. With her singing career over, she retired to Terra Flora and began a new life as an organic farmer. Thankfully, we have lots of great albums to remember Bia's beautiful voice. Just not this one. Bia, she sounds like a rusty chainsaw. Oh. Kind of. I, I, I don't think I want to hear how she sings any. Is this... This symbol is important somehow. Well, I mean, I kind of wish I could help with that, but sadly I can't do anything with it. Oh, fine, I can't. Okay, I didn't know I had to use that. Let me look over here for anything over here. That... Hey, Professor Backpack. This planet has its secrets. Where have you been? I am at a loss over Terraflora's greatest riddle. Speaking of... This cursor nonsense has clearly rerouted your priorities. Speaking of rerouting, pay attention. A ch <laughs> I gasp. Is it a child's toy or a triumph of the past? With a huff and a puff, it's stalled with gas. Can you solve the Can riddle? You? To bring the regular expressway away full circle, full steam ahead, I say. Okay, so we got a riddle to solve. And this one should not be too hard. In fact, actually, I already solved one part of it, which is getting this thing, well, up there. That one we need to get, but this is in the way. But I already see how I handle it. How I handle it. Looks like I need to bring this back here if I can. Which I can't. Go this far. And now this last piece can go straight into. The last yep. slot. Riddle of the Engineer's Guild. Nice. Got the train rolling again. Okay, Professor Backpack. What do you have to say to us about solving that riddle for you? All right. So keep this. Definitely take it. I couldn't be more proud. <gasps> Mystery solved! Another riddle laid bare. Thanks to oh. your wits and keen <laughs> eye for detail. Oh, this this must, be... must be where generations of punctili oh. punctilious train engineers <laughs> honed their craft and incubated their passions. <clears throat> Marvelous! Think of the knowledge shared, the stories told, the passionate debates. Oh, to be a fly on the wall. I'll bet they gave each other cool nicknames too, like Boxcar Beepo or Rambling Rabbit Luigi. <laughs> Good times. Ah. Uh, nice of you to give your own nicknames there, Beepo. But anywho, now that we got that all settled, let us continue on our little adventure escapade. Got that. Ah! Ooh. Oh. Put down some honey. Uh, I'm gonna guess this is the next painting, unless there's. Ooh, there's a gold thing down there. Is that leading to a side quest enemy, though? Because that looks like there's a. Yeah. Corpse de battle. I think that's a. Uh, the main enemy. Looks like we need to get up here to go to top of Everblue. All these are like, all these are literally side quests. These I can handle off camera. I don't really have to worry about them in here. I'll take care of those off camera, especially the the corpse, uh, the corpse one. So let's just go over here and see this painting, and then continue. Bia made this album during her punk pop phase after a whirlwind relationship with the Phantom. 
Silly celebrity nonsense, really. I can't believe he dunked her at the Galaxy Music Awards. By text. During her acceptance speech. I'll never forgive him. Oh. Well, that sucks for her. She just got dumped all in the middle of all that. Really sucks. They're just having fun. Looks to be a giant gumball machine. Oh! Capsule toys? What a waste of. <gasps> that one has a baby seal basking in a donut! Get away! It's mine! Oh, there's a rabbit stuck in it. I remember actually when I was a kid, like actually collecting uh, little capsule toys. It was actually fun. Fun childhood. A wiser, more mature Bia grew into her own with this album, which critics called soulful and masterfully crafted. It sold only 300 copies and effectively ended her career. So her career literally went down in the dumps as soon as that album was released. So, Yo! let us now go over here and let's take care of these enemies and finally meet the person at the top of the tree, which I'm gonna... I'm gonna make a guess it's probably gonna be the Warden or it might be someone who's an ally of It's either of the two. It might not be the Warden though, because it sounded more like a, a male voice, but I mean, it was an echo in the tree. Feed all! We got more of those big guys. You're gonna have your hands full with oozers, all right. Their magical powers can block techniques, spark powers, even attacks. They even have the ooze effect that'll poison you. You'll take damage at the start of each turn. But I'm with you, at least after the battle I am, if you win, otherwise, not so much. Alrighty, so let us take a look around and see their stats. So, Oozer, uh, weak to gust, resistant to ooze, so of course that's obvious. So it's just Oozers and these uh, Magnafowl guys. Okay, so this isn't too bad. So for the Magnafowls, I think I'll give that to uh, Rabbit Mario to take care of with the Ooze Spark, which he has equipped. And the others, I will start bombarding them with Gust Attacks with Mario and Rabbit Peach. So let's set everyone up with weapons and start getting this battle a new one. Okay, Big Gust coming. Getting close to that pipe. I, I know he's gonna take that pipe to get straight up to where we are. Whoa! Owie! Okay. Thankfully, they're focusing on Rabbit Mario because he has resistance to that, so this is. This is actually not too bad of a problem. I'm just hoping that they don't get smart towards. Okay. Okay, they didn't. They didn't get smart. They wasted. So did this one. I'm mainly worried about Rabbit Peach and Mario because we only have the one. Uh, we only have the one like character, oh, the one like oops, uh, thing. Yeah. I'd rather not end up losing Rabbit Peach because of that. <laughs> Just got two guys left. All we got. This one I can only. So I'm gonna this. All right. Oh yeah. That's gonna have to be it from now. He's gonna attack Rabbit Mario, but that's okay. Rabbit Mario is very tanky with the amount of health he has. And now with Rabbit Peach, I can weaken him enough, Rabbit Mario, to get some revenge. 
That wasn't too hard. That was actually a pretty easy fight, except for those, uh, those guys, like, being annoying and stealing our attacks in a bit. That was the only thing that was like, annoying, but other than that, it wasn't really And we got- oh, we didn't mean that. I thought that was raised up. Now that we got that settled... Now head over here! Hey! And there's the warden herself! Spirit of the Everbloom? Oh, honey. I'm so sorry, honey. That was just the dry air affecting my throat. I'm B, the Warden. If you're the Warden, you must know where we can find the darkness that's infiltrated Terra Flora. Mount Spout. Mount Spout has run dry. Our flowers cannot bloom, and their voices are stifled like mine. Oh. You see, it's hard to express emotions. Holy crap, this is feeling weird on my throat doing the, the, the Z's, but I'm trying my best here. People need flowers to help them say what they cannot. Flowers. Flowers. It's a creepy place you've made say. Just because bouquets, why so cranky for sages, divorce me not making them is our call. My sweet. Drizzle, my sweet, by finding me here, these heroes have proved themselves worthy. It is time. <coughs> yes, B. Er, I mean, yes, my queen. <coughs> what? Oh, new power! Powers upgraded. I see why you call him Drizzle. He certainly made a splash with me. <laughs> what? Drizzle? Drizzle will nourish the vines that will lead you to the train station. From there, you can reach Mount Spout. Our flowers. These save our flowers. Without their visual drizzle. Uh, diz play of love, sadness will bloom throughout the galaxy. Beepo power wave upgrade. Upgrade of the wave beepo power. You can now affect some vegetation. Press ZR multiple times to use it. There are places I can like. All right, here. Tap ZR repeatedly to use Beepo's upgraded wave power. Go on, tap like wind. Okay. Oh. Okay. So we literally made this whole vine bridge doing that. Oh. The great Kowalczynski. No one combined their love of music and bouncing uncontrollably to great heights more effectively. Mm. <laughs> He's going to have enough. Oh, he passed away. Okay, so 
we got ourselves a new power to give us a hand with going through this place. And now with this power, we should be able actually to finally make our way to getting rid of the uh, dark mist that is covering the train station railroad tracks. So, um, as usual, of course, I will take care of these side quests off camera. And in the next episode, we're going to go to Central Station using our new upgraded wave power to cleanse the darkness off of the railway so the Wiggler train station can be free to roam once more. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto my channel and to help support it. But as always, I'll see you next video. Take care, or you please have a wonderful safe and happy. Bye, everyone! It's delicious.